And then Susan Waldman and Cheryl Orsino. Now I have to lower the mic. Uh, good evening. My name is Luann Peter Paul. I'm an attorney in the state of New Jersey, and I'm here to speak to you both on a personal level and on a professional level. At the first hearing, my law partner, Bob Corcoran, stood before you and spoke about a personal story he had with his nephew and the fact that he was denied health benefits through his partner, um, partner's policy. I want to relate some stories I have about clients who've called me and on a personal level how I became involved in this. I've been in a relationship with my partner for 24 years. This year we're going to celebrate our 25th. I was 12 at the time. Uh, You're not on the road. <laughs> that's what I said. And um, a few years back, we talked about getting married because we have a place up in Massachusetts. And I said to her, I'm New Jersey born and bred. I'm going to get married, and we're going to get married in New Jersey. Shortly after that, um, my nephew uh, was diagnosed with leukemia. And in his hospital bed, we were talking, and I said to him, Thomas, one day Robin and I are going to be able to get married, and I want you to be part of the wedding. Without blinking an eye, with that innocent child look, he looked at me like I was crazy. Of course I'm going to be in your wedding. Unfortunately, Thomas passed away. But I promised him, and I promised my partner, I'm going to continue the fight. And it shouldn't be a fight. It really shouldn't. But let me relay some, some practical stories. I, my, pra my law practice is primarily employment law. I get calls from employers and from employees. I get calls from employers who say to me, so-and-so just came into my office and they want health benefits, but our plan only says spouse or marriage. What do I do? You have to follow the law. What's, what's the law? You have to provide them with benefits. Unless you have an ERISA-based plan, then you may have an out. One response that I got was, who's Alyssa? <laughs> but the fact that employers are still questioning whether they have to provide benefits because the plan says spouse or marriage is mind-boggling to me. I have a client now that I'm trying to help who's employed, who's employed with um, a, a national company, applied for benefits, got civil union, applied for benefits, being denied. It's an ERISA-based policy. However, they do provide benefits to their employees in Massachusetts because our statute does not say spouse or marriage. It's quite outrageous to me at this time in everyone's life that we're still making a distinction. I stand before you and applaud you for the work that you're doing. And I just want to make one response to the gentleman, I think it was Mr. D, who got up and said there are many complaints and only 1,500 people have been civil union. I chose not to be civil union. I'm waiting until the time I can be married. 